Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours true, you know who it is, and I'm back, I'm back for another uh, another episode or uh, segment or uh, series, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yes, uh, it's like a TV show, folks, it really has. Uh, and it's a very good adventure of me being on this platform for many, many solid years, uh, since 2012, you can believe it, folks. Since 2012, that's a long time, that's saying something there, <laughs> and all the way up till now. Uh, so, yeah, and a lot of YouTubers along the way, uh, past and present, as they like to say, and uh, uh, who are still on the platforms. Uh, I'm not going to mention them all because it would be a long list of them. It's like, a, it's like a musical set list, you know, what you're going to play at that night, what kind of songs you're going to play that night. So uh, it's, it's the same thing as YouTubers, you know, they, they got credibility, as they like to say. Uh, on their platform, they got usernames, they got uh, they got subscriber base, they got viewership. Uh, they definitely got viewership, uh, subscriber base. Um, a lot of famous YouTubers got tons and tons of subscribers. This is in the millions uh, subscribers. Like every person on the planet, if you can imagine that, uh, that's daunting for anybody. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter if you want to go live streaming videos or just. Uh, published videos. Now it does say it on the on top of the screen. Published videos. These are published videos. These are like public, published videos. Once they upload their videos to their platforms, and uh, I just hear recently that people get monetized. The word they would use, monetizing. Uh, the videos are getting monetized. And a few YouTubers were mentioned the other day about monetizing YouTube videos, and I guess they were a little upset about it. YouTube tends to do many things that they don't like. Um, and uh, they'll mention on their own YouTube videos uh, about them being monetized their own videos. Sometimes they get upset. I don't know what that really means, really, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, now, when it comes to YouTube videos, uh, we don't have control over our own videos once we put it up there. Um, it's really a company, some company who's, uh, who's behind the scenes, they like to say, is controlling everything, like the fonts uh, to everything. And uh, uh, what uh, what type of videos you cannot cannot put up there? I don't have. <laughs> and you say uh, I'm not a lawyer or attorney uh, or anything like that. Uh, uh, basically, YouTube dictates what kind of videos you're allowed to put up there, and they have policies. It's not a law, as they like to say. It's a policy. So uh, you know, it's, uh, you, you probably I won't tell you what the policy is on YouTube. You probably guessed it from the last few years. Have you been if you've been a long time user of a YouTube channels? Um, uh, but sp some people have gone away with it from the swear words, from the nudity, from, from you name it. Uh, and uh, there's other ways to get around that. Is they say, I don't want, I, I, I highly recommend, not recommend it, but people have put up videos like that. And sometimes they'll violate the policies on YouTube. Um, and you kind of read the fine print. It's like a contract, you got to read the fine print. Uh, or you're not going to get the full brunt of it kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, yeah, just like I said, folks, um, just be well aware of that if you're a YouTube user. And uh, I'll be listening to other YouTubers out there for a few uh, for a few years. They've been, uh, uh, it's like a tailspin. Uh, they, uh, their channel's been not monetized. The word they would use, monetizing. Uh, sometimes they'll get upset about it. Sometimes it was okay that they monetize their videos. And... Uh, uh, monetizing basically, I think that's because of ads, because of uh, uh, commercial ads. I think it's monetized that way. Um, the only revenue that uh, YouTubers uh, apparently get these days are the super chats. They're super chats. You'll see them on the bottom screen, and it's called super chats. Uh, super chats, let me, on uh, a nutshell, is basically uh, for through donations. Now, remember, it's only through donations. Not like they give them, uh, you know, money in their hand and say, "Hey, here, have it," kind of thing. Uh, no, these are through donations, and donations is great, no question about it, <laughs> uh, unless it's pretty bad. Uh, but uh, donations is good. Uh, they do it through super chats on YouTube videos. Any uh, anybody else's platforms? Uh, uh, do I recommend this? I don't know. Uh, it's up to the users, remember that. Um, if they want to have super chats, it just uh, puts money in their pocket, pays their bills, pays their everything, uh, their uh, their internet capability to you name it. Super chats, uh, I've just known about it for uh, at least this year. Uh, ever since January, uh, YouTubers came on their plat well on their own platforms and said, uh, and basically, basically said uh, they want to do super chats. It's uh, it's a, another way of paying for them. How do you say paying for their platforms? Because they put their own content, their own 
uh, energy out there, well, basically energy on their own screen, uh, and uh, put themselves out there and uh, and uh, basically push uh, whatever they put on their platform. And they they got to get paid because it's it's revenue. They ever heard the word terminology called revenue? It's uh, they got to pay for their users. They're uh, content driven uh, creators. And uh, yeah, so there you go, folks. I don't want to ramble off. And uh, but that's basically how YouTube has been. So I've been here on this platform since 2012, on and off. Uh, it's like a lace ship thing, on and off. Um, and uh, uh, but you can have your likes and dislikes and your uh, and your opinions. And uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, we have our opinions, dislikes, and likes. And uh, yeah, this is the way it should be. Uh, but like I said, YouTube is just a platform for anybody to put their content out there. The amazing content. Imagine if you told an individual, I want to put this amazing content out there and what platform you want to put it on. Well, the platform you might want to put on maybe on Facebook. Sometimes Facebook gets a lot of videos up there. Yeah. And YouTube does have a big platform for, uh, it doesn't matter if you're uh, recent videos or um, home videos. They call them home videos for, uh, um, uh, um, you know, vault videos, basically from their home videos. And uh, from way from their when they're little kids to up till adult age, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's the way it should be. So if you want to, if you people, this is my uh, observation here with YouTubers since the, uh, since 2012. And uh, I'm a long time user, as they like to say, long time user to YouTube. And uh, I see people coming gone off YouTube platforms. Um, but um, if you want me to give these people recognition, I could do that. And um, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't know who these people are, you know, as they like to say. Uh, so, but I'll, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you the easy answer. I'll just say uh, they know who they are, kind of thing. Okay, I'll just make it easy for everybody. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Like YouTubers like to tend to say, hit that like button. Yes, definitely hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, it does help out the channel. They're not joking about what they say. And. Uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, and send those links. They like to people. T uh, sometimes people like to say send those links uh, to share the videos. And uh, yeah, share the, share the videos. That's okay. That's what we have these platforms for. And one other thing uh, are, is Doomsday coming up? No, it isn't. And the world's not going to end in a million years. No. Uh, so if you if you're if you're a climate change person uh, and you like to believe that uh, wholeheartedly, and uh, I used to be. Uh, uh, climate change. Uh, it was all because of the weather uh, stuff. And um, oh, one other thing before I get off this, uh, there's cop watchers out there. Now you don't know who cop watchers are. So let me give you uh, kind of like uh, a definition of what a cop watcher really does. Uh, these are photographers. These are like uh, photographers that like to go, like you and I, like Joe Blow off the street. He likes to go. Uh, he's the independent journalism. He's the independent person who likes to go out there. Holds the, uh, well, basically, basically, you could do this with a the camera. Uh, they call it the First Amendment uh, right to do so, as they say. You'll hear this in any auditor, and they're not kooks. Um, uh, my family thinks they're kooks. They're not. Uh, they're like you and I. They're like you and I trying to uh, deliver the content, deliver the content, basically. And sometimes it, it doesn't have to be so interesting. It could be very exciting in how they conduct themselves, basically. <laughs> and uh, sometimes the, uh, the police people don't like uh, photographers being there. And they tell me, hey, you got to move 10 feet, 4 feet. You could be on the other side of the street. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they were just talking about this the other day. H how many feet you're supposed to be from the uh, crime scenes and uh, for you to be a photographer? Uh, at the locations. Um, uh, basically, uh, I'll give you an example, a better example. You could be at the other side of the street and they, don't, they won't care. They won't care at all that you're there on the other side of the street. And they're conducting, as they say, so-called, they like to call it uh, investigations. And time and time again, they'll mention that. Uh, whatever type of investigation they're doing. And um, for photographers, first member auditors, and uh, they usually uh, set themselves closer to the crime scenes or whatever investigations they're doing. And sometimes they get really too close, too close to the action. And um, and they were just talking about that uh, James Freedom, I don't know if I should mention his name, James Freedom uh, mentioned a little bit about this the other day on his video. And uh, it, ke it keeps me wondering about how people conduct themselves <laughs> in a either good manner or bad manner. And uh, yeah, so 
basically, folks, what I'm trying to say is uh, the, uh, the distance to you as a photographer, as a photojournalism, uh, is keep uh, maybe go on the other side of the street and film it from there. And you can use your, your camera zoom lens and zoom it, that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, so there's there you go. I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, today I was just going to talk about cop watchers versus, uh, versus just YouTubers and stuff like that. And... Uh, I'm going to leave it at that, and if you have any recommendations, uh, and um, I don't ascribe to this kind of thing, um, I will ascribe to this, because I will ascribe to this YouTuber, uh, James Freeman. He is very knowledgeable, and he really calls people out. He really does, and in a good manner, not a bad manner. Uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I appreciate for you, everybody, to listen to me. I don't care if you're a longtime uh, user. I always get my... Sometimes... In a, in the past, uh, uh, people told me I have a good YouTube channel, and I really do. Uh, and some take, uh, some people do take notice of my content out there. Uh, I just haven't, I disabled my comments, by the way. I disabled my my entire comments. Uh, once I put videos up there, I, I disable the comments. It's like a light, it's like a light bulb switch. I can enable it or disable it. And uh, yeah, I just like to put content there, that, uh, and we don't have to worry about the comments in there. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, I, I, I like to say ciao for everybody and help and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here for the for a long time until I pass away. I hope I'm going to be around till I'm 80 years old or 70 years old, till I no longer can do this. Uh, and uh, I've heard people die so young, die so young, and. Uh, I like, I like to see what videos about the uh, cause of death. Sometimes it's so interesting to me what kind of, uh, why they die, what, what they uh, died from. Um, was it illness? Was it cancer? Was it, uh, uh, was it fall, uh, falling from, a, a, from a, a hillside? I don't know. Uh, so I want to know about the cause of death. Why that's so interesting for me? Because, um, uh, because you want to know, you really want to know. It's the name, the occupation, and the cause of death. And uh, the occupation before they passed away, what what they did in life, yeah. So there you go. So I I, I love to read these because I was, and also sometimes they'll have what they did in life. What, if they were an actor, TV show host, a movie star, and they'll say it in the occupation. And yeah, and there you go, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, I'm gonna not go any further. See. You